Hi everyone! If you want to skip the coloring of this image, you will need to go to the 4 minute and 54 second mark, and um, that is where we're going to put this card together. It is a modified a slider card. These are going to be a set of baby cards that I'm going to give to a friend. And um, so I hope that you will sit back and enjoy the coloring. everyone, it's Loretta. Today, earlier in this video, you saw me stamp 
and color this adorable image. This is from Stampin' Up. It's called Perfectly Paired. It is a baby set. And um, so what I'm going to do, or what I thought would be really fun, is to make this image to where it's going to move like it's on the ocean. So the first thing I did was I cut this card stock, which is also stamping up, I think. It's called Coastal Cabana. It's five by five. And then this is four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. This is Echo Park paper, and it measures four and seven eighths by two and a half. I used a die from my collection to cut the track. And so before I tape this down to where it's going to be, it's got a little crease in it, it doesn't matter. I've got some uh, baby powder. This is just from Walmart, you know, over there where the travel stuff is. And I'm just going to use a um, paintbrush. And I'm going to really get into this track and try not to get it anywhere else. And this is going to kind of act more or less as a lubricant so that this little slider piece is going to move like we want it to. Now, I'm going to bring my panel over, and this is um, the Xyron Mega Runner. I recently purchased many different items from an estate sale and this was in the items that I bought and I'm really liking this. I did order some extra adhesive for it recently because it is a really strong adhesive. The uh, cardstock is also stamping up if I didn't already say that. It's called Coastal Cabana. This is um, kind of um, a really sea green color. I am not real sure who made it, but it's you know something I had in my collection and I almost made a mistake. So don't do as I say. Matter of fact, it's not really going to matter too much at this point, but I really need some foam tape. And I like to double mine up for this type of project. The Scotch 3M foam tape. Where is my image? I have some um, just regular pop dots and some pennies and it really doesn't matter which side is up for this but what I like to do is put my penny in the track first just like that and use something to manipulate it to where the center is right there. And then um, I'm going to take a pop dot that's sized to my opening. One of the smaller ones should do just, the, just perfectly right there. And put it toward the middle. Hopefully you're not going to... Actually, let's forget that one. Hopefully you're not going to handle it so much that it loses its stick. However, you can always put a drop of regular glue on this piece if you need to. And you want to push that in place and hold it there for a second. Now I'm going to take my, my powder and my paintbrush and reach up underneath 
powder this a little bit more. This is kind of overkill at this point, but I have no idea where my glue is right now, and I should. My room is actually cleaner today than it has been in a month or more, um, especially since I am really being disciplined about the new stuff I bought to go through it, keep what I want, sell what I don't, or gift what I don't, and um, that's a process. It really, really is. So, But before I put this into place, I, I can also add some things to this if I, want, if I want it, like some more waves, but that's not really going to show that much under there. I might still do it, but I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for just, you know, 5-10 seconds. This is um, actually more like a super glue, instant glue. Seriously, it's not going to matter here in a moment, I hope. Hold that in place for just a minute. If you're nervous about this coming apart, use a um, clothespin or something just to hold it in place. So now let's finish decorating this card. This, um, even with rubber, you, you kind of want to condition them a little bit before you use them. I just like to use my hand or something, kind of rub it around. I'm going to place this on my block. If your ink pad is older and it's really well loved, you kind of want to scrub it onto the ink like that. See how much better that is? And um, that's going to do a very good job for us. Line it up. Now I'm going to stamp the congratulations since I don't feel like getting out a different block and I'm going to use the same one. Once again, condition the stamp on the back of my hand. And now I'm going to place this at an angle so it will actually fit on my block. Same as last time. Ink it up. Eyeball it. You can put it right, left, or center, wherever you want. Very fun card. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments section. Links to the products I used today will be also in the description box. I do have a personal stamping up um, person that I use. And um, so you may want to look up. Um, on the Stamping Up website for a demonstrator. If you don't have one of your own, if you'd like to use mine, please email me due to privacy concerns. Um, that's the only way I will give you her information. Once again, if you like my videos, leave them a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share my videos on your social media. Stamp happy and be a blessing. Have a great week. Talk to you all soon. Bye for now.